Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, June 18th. I'm Jim Weatherup, Chairman of the Oswego County Legislature. Joining me again today is Diane Oldenburg, Senior Public Health Educator for the Oswego County Health Department. In his daily briefing this morning, Governor Como mentioned the COVID-19 cluster at the Champlain Valley Specialties Apple Plant and how that is linked to a higher positive rate in Central New York. So far, there are 29 employees who have tested positive who live in Oswego County. Diane will speak about this in a few minutes. There are a couple of points I want to make. We became aware of these cases through the County Health Department's investigation of positive test results. The patients were traced, more people were tested, and we are taking proactive measures to contain the cluster. As the governor said, that's the way it's supposed to work. I want to assure you that the health department takes its responsibility very seriously. This is a time consuming process. It usually takes a few days for the health department to receive, receive the test results. Positive cases are traced and tracked and affected patients and contacts are isolated or quarantined. Our department works with the affected patients to make sure their needs are being met while they are in isolation or quarantine. The county and state health departments have been very proactive in expanding testing. Our public health director, Jen Chang Wang, is an epidemiologist with a degree from Harvard, and he and his staff are carefully monitoring the situation. Our numbers will increase as more test results come in, and we expect this to continue for the next few days. Saturday is the first official day of summer. Sandy Island Beach is officially open at 50% capacity and Selkirk Shores State Park will open to campers very soon. Many more of our restaurants are back in business this week, some for indoor dining and others for takeout. Our fishing charters are out on the lakes and our farmers markets are opening back up. It's wonderful to see the difference that this is making and I encourage everyone to do what they can to support our small business. They are the backbone of our economy. The tourism and hospitality businesses have taken the biggest hit of all of our industries during this pandemic, and we want to do everything we can to support them. Now, Diane will give us an update on the COVID-19 investigation at the Apple Processing Facility in the town of Oswego in today's report. Diane. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time, we have a total of 29 Oswego County residents who work at Champlain Valley Specialties of New York, Inc. Um, that have tested positive. There are other employees who have tested positive that live in Onondaga and Wayne counties. Tuesday and Wednesday, there were five more COVID testing clinics in the community. We tested over 400 people uh, in Fulton and Oswego in those couple of days. We are working closely with the New York State Department of Health to investigate each case and contact tracing is ongoing. The investigation is evolving quickly and the number of cases is expected to change uh, based on further testing and follow up with patient contacts. For today's uh, report, we have um, 12,461 tests that have been conducted. We have 161 residents that have tested positive we have 41 active cases of COVID-19, and we have 117 residents that have recovered. We have three deaths that have been related to COVID-19. We have 12,142 negative test results that have been returned to the health department, and we have 108 residents in mandatory isolation or quarantine. Antibody testing, uh, so far, we've received 2,019 antibody test results. Of this number, 45 test results are positive. Uh, the percentage of testing positive has remained consistent at about 2.2 to 2.3 percent. Thank you, Diane. <clears throat> we know that community transmission of COVID-19 is still occurring in Oswego County. This means we need to be as diligent as ever, wearing our face masks and practicing physical distancing. These measures are working. Please continue them so we can move on to stage four and allow more businesses and attractions to reopen. If you are a business owner, please be responsible and reopen in a safe way. 
respect the health and safety of your customers and your employees, read the state guidance, develop a safety plan, and follow the guidelines for reopening. As I've stated before, all this information is shared on the Reopen Oswego County webpage. The County Health Department's COVID-19 hotline number, 315-349-3330, is open Monday through Friday. Enjoy the weekend, and thank you for your continued patience and cooperation.